Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. This weekend at the box office, a comic book superhero takes on Jim Carrey and a bunch of cute penguins. Here's Sean McBride, the movie guy, with your movies for the weekend. The ring, it chose you. Take it. Place the ring in the lantern. Place the ring. Speak the earth. If this is the summer of the comic book movies, then the most anticipated of this season's summer superheroes is the Green Lantern. This is the story of a cocky test pilot who is inducted into an extraterrestrial police force of sorts. These alien officers use the power of the Green Lantern to fight evil wherever it rears its head in the universe. And it's a good thing that the human Green Lantern is on the case because a creature named Parallax has his eyes set on destroying Earth. The thing I love about Green Lantern is that there is some darkness there, but there's also a lot of light. And because of that, I think it's so widely accessible to, to the audience. I feel like it, it, it alienates nobody. Thomas, your father left you something. So where was he? An odd liquor. I'll call you back. Also out this week, Jim Carrey goes back to his family film ways with Mr. Popper's Penguins, the story of a driven businessman who has his life turned upside down when he inherits six rambunctious penguins. Pull yourself together. Your house is full of penguins. <laughs> and that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Sean Bright, the movie guy for ETV. Joining us now, Sean McBride, the movie guy. So tell us about Green Lantern. Obviously, the big one this week is The Green Lantern, uh, the most anticipated comic book film of the summer. Uh, now, as of the taping of this show, I haven't seen it, so I can only say that we hope for the best, and we hope that the special effects are good, because the trailers make it look kind of hit and miss. Uh, and for the families, Mr. Popper's Penguins, it's not highbrow, but Jim Carrey goofing around with real penguins, let's face it, kids are going to love it. Uh, new this week is uh, Bill Cunningham's New York, the documentary about an 80-year-old fashion photographer, Bill Cunningham. Uh, I think this is part of Boise Pride Week, but obviously also just a really fun documentary about a very intriguing guy. Uh, this is the film that won the Audience Awards at the film festivals in Melbourne, Palm Springs, Sydney, Nantucket, and Abu Dhabi. Uh, not a great week on home DVD. Battle Los Angeles was a mediocre sci-fi thriller. Big Mama's House uh, was just plain bad comedy, and Red Riding Hood was a mediocre teen melodrama done up as a werewolf fairy tale. Uh, so moving over to the local theater scene. New this week is South Pacific over at Music Theater of Idaho. This is Rogers and Hammerstein's classic show, the story of a nurse serving in World War II, and she falls in love with a French plantation owner. And it's all set against the background of the war in the beautiful South Pacific Islands. It's mostly known for its great musical numbers. Uh, Some Enchanted Evening, There's Nothing Like a Dame, Valley High, Cockeyed Optimist, Bloody Mary, Wash That Man Right Out of My Hair. I mean, I can't think of another musical with more hit songs in it. So uh, South Pacific opens this week at the Nam Pacific Center. Tickets and information at 468-2385 or go to mtionline.org. Stagecoach Theater has Fleming. Now, I saw this one last week at their sold-out opening night. Very good, silly comedy. A story about a guy who decides he wants to become a private eye, even though he's not very good at it, and people keep turning up dead in his living room, much to the chagrin of his long-suffering wife. Call for reservations, though. And don't forget that they are in their new home on Emerald in the old Dino's location. Anyway, tickets and information at 342-2000 or stagecoachtheater.com. Everyone's favorite, The Wizard of Oz, playing at the Starlight Mountain Theater. Tickets and information at 462-5523 or starlightmt.org. And finally, don't forget, Idaho Shakespeare is up and running. They've got Two Gentlemen of Verona running through July 29th and the complete works of William Shakespeare, abridged, running in repertory through July 20th. Get more information at www.idahoshakespeare.org or 336-9221. Wow, there's some great theater and DVDs and everything else. So. What, what more could you want, right? That sounds awesome. All right, stick around. More ATV coming up right after this.